What's a movie which gave an incredible theatre experience? But was an otherwise so-so movie? The Bodyguard 1991. It was great. But, at the same time, to boring. Due to this movie, Whitney Houston and her song I Will Always Love You have become famous all over the world. And even now millions or even billions of people have listened to it at least once in their life. But, unfortunately, Whitney has a very sad life story, and soon she died because of drug overdose. The film itself is definitely not the best in the world, but it gave us an unforgettable singer. It follows. It was a late night showing in a really small theatre, which only served to heighten the ambience and eeriness of the soundtrack. Then, when we left the cinema, it was inside a very large shopping centrex which was completely empty apart from a few people mulling around. One person started walking towards me and my partner as we were heading down the escalator. We were terrified. It's really specific. But we would have never got that experience at home. There are. I was 17 when it came out in 2006. YouTube was a curious novelty. Nobody really knew what Da Oli G show was. And so we didn't really know what to expect. I was in a theatre packed to the brim with other 17, 35 year olds. And it was wonderful. I laughed so hard I felt sick at times dot dot when I watch it on TV. It just doesn't hit the same. I tell people younger than me that they'll never get that experience there and how popular Seinfeld was when the finale aired. I disagree with this logic. If something loses in value when watched on inferior screen sound, it doesn't make it a so-so movie. It simply means that the value is in the visual and sound. Like asking what book was very nice when you read it in great conditions. It turned out to be a so-so book when it was read to you by your dyslexic stepmother while you were trying to do your taxes. I don't really care about the answer to that question. To Blair Witch Project. Seeing it on the opening weekend with a full theatre was great. Everyone was there to accept what it was bringing to the table. People were scared shitless. Seeing it again when it came out on DVD was super disappointing and pretty much an opposite experience. It was a shaky come following people yelling at each other in the woods. In the theatre it was like watching real people sent off to die. Gravity. I saw it several times in theatres and the 3D and sound mixing were amazing. The first viewing gave me a heightened physical reaction like my heart was beating fast and I was pumped full of adrenaline. Just an awesome 90 minutes that doesn't let up. One of the best uses of 3D in a movie to date. Trying to replicate that experience with a home theatre would be impossible. Dune 2, after the first one was so true to the book canon, the second one went completely sideways. If you haven't read the book, I'd guess it all made sense, but the last 20 minutes was wildly out of alignment with the book, and other parts of it were simply made up out of whole cloth. I was so disappointed, especially after how good the first one was. Saving Private Ryan is a good movie on the small screen, but a great movie on the big screen especially Sever. OM and IMAX with 15 kilowatts of sound. The three-dimensional sound design is a masterclass in immersion. That Normandy scene has you sinking in your chair as bombs whiz over you and bullets by you on all sides. Jumper. I'm not a big cinema guy. I mean, I like movies just fine, but I rarely go to the cinema to see them. And Jumper was an okay novel, and an even less interesting movie. But for some reason, my God, did I have fun watching it on the big screen? I don't know, it just hit right. The first Jurassic Park. When I heard the T-Rex roar for the first time, the floor vibrated as did my seat. I was young and said in Farley's voice from Tommy Boy. The dear scene. 1917. Such great sound from the dive bombers on the beach. Tron Legacy. Never watched it on the big screen. But I really want to, Akira. Now Akira is great on a small screen. But I got to see it on the big screen a few years ago. Absolutely blew me away. Inception. It was a somewhat unique film at the time with decent sound design. Basically everyone was in love with it when first watching it. 
at that time that was still the cinema. It didn't hold up on rewatching. The movie turns out is kind of stupid. The final destination in 3D. The sold out crowd was like a boxing match. Waiting for each death and hiding between their hands as the tension cranked. I'm big on cinema etiquette but for a film like that. The bigger the audience reaction the better. First Avatar. Day. The only 3D implementation. I feel was worthy. And I remember actually walking out of the theatre thinking that was dope and realising how boring this movie was when I watched it again at my house. Maybe a bit on the nose. But this is the reason the Rocky Horror Picture Show theatre experience is a thing. Because when I finally did get to see it, I had a lot of fun. But man is that movie bad lol. Seeing the Simpsons movie on opening night ended up being just okay. But seeing it with that atmosphere and everyone getting the inside jokes was amazing. We felt like family for 90 minutes. Independence Day. Absolutely incredible visuals on the big screen. But after its run, it's something that would end up getting shown from VHS on smaller TVS and was pretty much just meh. For that I would say Bromastra. It was an average movie but was amazing in the theatres. The dancing. The sound effects. The visual effects all was truly enjoyable in the theatres. Avatar IMO. It provided an immersive visual spectacle in theatres with its groundbreaking 3D effects. Though the storyline and characters were criticised for being predictable. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. The Day After Tomorrow. I've gone to so many, but the these two off the top of my head felt like much better films in the theatre. There was nothing like seeing the Simpsons movie Midnight Opening. It's still fun to watch, but there's no matching the manic energy of a packed house of Simpsons fans. Sharnado. Sure, the plot might be flimsier than a Hollywood marriage, but watching airborne sharks wreak havoc on the big screen is a once-in-a-lifetime thrill ride. Twister. The tornado effects were brilliant in the cinema. But on VHS, or apparently being the first film in DVD, it's an extended advert for Dodge Rams. Avatar was like a roller coaster of visual wonder in theatres. Thanks to its mind blowing effects and 3D magic, it was one heck of a spectacle. Fantasia wouldn't watch it again, but seeing it in a theatre and with a giant booming sound system is a different experience altogether. Civil War was a decent movie, but it was an awesome experience in theatres. I don't think I've heard Punchy a gunfire in a movie since Heat. Most disaster movies, like 2012 or The Day After Tomorrow. Spectacular disaster scenes and you're really not watching them for the story. Grindhouse, such an amazing theatre experience. But even as a QT fan, I rarely revisit the actual movies. Only the then fake trailers. Spider-Man No Way Home and Avenger Endgame. They pause during the movie for the crowd to stop cheering. It makes research at home weird. Controversial, but Oppenheimer. The editing is choppy, and the dialogue is so bad. I didn't realise it until watching on a small screen. Multiverse of Madness so cool in the theatre with the visuals, and, and I noticed so many issues watching at home with the plot. I wouldn't imagine Oppenheimer wouldn't have nearly the same effect on me if I watched it on my mediocre TV and sound system. Pacific Rim at the IMAX had me coming out the cinema, looking up and expecting a robot to bust through a high rise. A quiet place. I've never been in such a packed, yeah, silent theatre. The plot holes make it less fun to rewatch. Event Horizon. That movie was scary AF in the theatre. Came out on DVD to watch at home. Complete letdown. Beowulf and Prometheus were both really cool in IMAX on the big screen, but just okay on rewatch at home. Battleship. The first 4K disc my dad bought for the home theatre because of how great the sound mix was. Me and my late father enjoy watching people flip out over paranormal activity, which is super boring. The original Mortal Kombat was an absolute blast at the midnight screening I caught opening weekend. The Great Gatsby was in or at the movie theatre. Not so much when we're watching it years later at home. Avatar, though, admittedly, I was struggling to stay awake by the end. That was a very long movie. Gravity. Loved it as a cinematic experience. 
Thought it was bit dog shit when I watched it at home. Avatar. Most superhero movies. Green Knight. Rise of Skywalker. Gravity. Napoleon. The Creator. Marvel movies are without doubt incredible spectacles at the cinema. But at home a bit dull. Titanic was really dumb. But pretty to watch. Come to think of it. Same goes for Saltburn. Rocky Horror Picture Show is not a good movie, but it's an amazing theatre-going experience. I've never even seen it, but I'll take a stab and say Avatar fits into this category. Seeing they shall not grow old in 3D in the theatre, and it's so much more amazing. Twister. My friends also decided we were sitting in like the third row for it. Doctor Strange. I don't even remember if I slept for a few minutes on this one. Avatar. It's visually gorgeous, but otherwise it's just Fern Gully in space. No Way Home is the greatest theatre experience that I will never watch again. I would suggest watching poor things in the theatre while it's still showing. Avatar was a bombastic movie in theatre, but on TV it's really just okay. Gravity was very cool in 3D, but on a regular TV, it wasn't that good. I really like Civil War, but it somewhat fits this description. The Artist my favorite all-time theater experience.